the Mpumalanga Agriculture and Rural Development MEC, Mandlam Sibi, is due back in court today for a formal bail application. ANC President Saul Ramaphosa says Msibi will have to step aside in line with the party's resolutions adopted at uh, its Nazra conference. For more on this story, we're joined now by the ANC spokesperson in Bumalanga, Ms. Sasegane Manzini, who herself is an MEC in the province of Mpumalanga. Ms. Manzini, thank you very much for your time. Did this come as a shock uh, to you that uh, a fellow colleague in government has been arrested on such serious crimes, uh, murder and attempted murder? Good morning to you, Toli, and uh, to the viewers at home. Of course, you will understand that I'm not speaking here as the colleague. I'm speaking at this, as a spokesperson of the ANC. Mm. And, of course, as an ANC, it came as a shock to us as a, a, a organization that uh, one of our leaders is alleged to have been involved in the murder case. Of course, we take these allegations very serious as an organization. Hence, uh, within a matter of 24 hours, we managed to uh, quickly uh, try to convene. You'll remember that to convene more than 35 people to a meeting is not an easy thing, but uh, we managed to convene that meeting. We are meeting tonight mm -hmm. to be able to look at the matter, and then uh, we'll be able to communicate in terms of what is the decision of the ANC after this allegation levels against one of the members of the PC. Well, you want to convene a meeting, and this meeting presumably then will take a decision on the responsibilities of Mr. MCB both at party level and at government level. Should he not have stepped aside already, uh, Ms. Manzini, given what the president told reporters uh, yesterday? According to the information that we are having, uh, uh, even maybe yourself, is that he's arrested. So that might be difficult for him to do that. Hence, I'm saying the PEC will convene and then we'll take a decision based on that. Remember, the constitution of the ANC allows a member to voluntarily step aside. Mm. But in the, if there's nothing that is coming forth to us as an organization, hence that decision will, will be taken at the PEC level tonight. All right. So let's just have a listen to the president, Cyril Ramaphosa. He was asked about uh, the arrest of this MEC, who's also an ANC member. Uh, the president, remember, he was uh, in the Northern Cape yesterday uh, campaigning uh, for the ANC. Let's just have a listen to what he had to say, responding to this question. So for us, it's fairly straightforward. When somebody has been arrested and charged, we've got a straightforward rule. You've got to step aside from the position that you occupy and you've got to be answerable to the Integrity Commission. So our renewal process is such that these types of things are handled automatically in terms with the discipline, in terms with the values of our organization, so as to maintain the integrity of the African National Congress. So whatever and whoever it is has to comply with the rules, the conventions, the protocols of the African National Congress in that regard. Ms. Manzini, when did the ANC become aware of the charges against Mr. Msibi? You'll remember that. I agree. I, that's what I'm saying. What the president is saying is exactly what I'm saying, that uh, the member is expected to step aside. And I'm saying maybe because already he's in prison, it might be difficult for him to do that. And um, we were aware in terms of the headlines yesterday, like every South African on TV and all that. But you'll also understand that uh, you cannot act based on the media, what they're saying. You need to have something that will warrant the ANC, because if, if you convene a meeting, you don't even know who's that person. He's just saying an MEC, uh, uh, the leader of the ANC, you don't know who's that person. So you need to wait so that when you convene a meeting, you've got facts that will then warrant you as an organization at the level of the PEC to process the matter uh, accordingly. So I agree with the president that exactly that I am saying, representing the province uh, of the ANC in Pumala. Does Mr. Msibi have a history of terrorizing fellow party members in Pumala? I can't say that he has got a history because any allegation that is labeled against any person 
it has to be proven before the court of law. But where I'm seated, I don't, I don't have anything tangible or evidence that I can say that he has got a history of terrorizing people uh, uh, in the province. So you're not aware as a party that there were charges leveled against him back in 2017 and it was quite similar charges to what he faces now, attempted murder and uh, assault, assault on a, a particular person. And he was arrested and later on the charges fizzled because the people simply did not turn up in court. So I'm simply saying to you, based on his affidavit in court that has been reported on, he says that for the past three years or so, he has faced these kinds of charges. You're saying as a party, you are not aware. We are aware, like you are aware, that uh, there were charges against him and it was withdrawn. It, as an organization, if the charges are withdrawn, we cannot continue and say that you were charged. Uh, meanwhile, the very same charges were withdrawn. Hence, I'm saying, without evidence that uh, he was charged and he was prosecuted based on assault or whatsoever, I can't say that uh, we are aware that these things has happened and uh, uh, this is what happened to the leader of the ANC in the province. Hence, I am also respecting the South African law and the rights of people as far as processes are concerned. Ms. Banzini, perhaps as I let you go, the, the question around Mr. Msibi, this is someone who clearly has had brushes with the law previously. How long is it going to take for the ANC to make a formal announcement that he has been relieved of his duties both as an MEC, a member of government, and as a party leader in Pumalang? The PEC in Pumalang is meeting tonight to process the matter. And immediately after that, we will be releasing a statement in terms of the decision of the ANC concerning the matter. Sasegane Manzini, thank you very much for your time. She speaks for the African National Congress in Pumalanga.